Hey guys, let's take a look at what's called contrived problems, which means Saxon very nicely works these out or puts them to you in a way that you can just cross out and make it a lot easier for yourself to find the answer. But let's do a quick review. Look at this. What's the easiest way to deal with that uh, arithmetic fraction problem? What's the easiest thing to do here? I mean, the easiest thing to do is just cancel, right? Look at that. 29's gone. 17's gone. 61's gone. The answer, 5 eighths. Done. Okay? A lot, a lot simpler, right? Okay? Look at this second one. What do, you, what do we do with this one? Remember how to factor that one? X and X, right? Okay. Ooh, I multiply, give me negative 15, so it's, a, excuse me, 16, so it's a positive and negative. Adds to give me positive 6, must be a positive 8 and a negative 2. Got that, right? Piece of cake. Third thing, what's the common denominator? If you had to do the entire thing and add these all for one fraction, what's the common denominator? It's B times X times X plus Y, right? Okay, you got those. Okay, all we're going to do is somewhat combine these today in problems, okay? All right, so pause it and copy this problem down, and we're going to multiply. All right, this is way better than you think it is. This looks horrendous, this kind of thing. But we're going to actually take these trinomials and factor every single one of them and watch what happens. Let's do the first one. You should be getting faster at these, by the way. So let's kind of do these a little more quickly than usual. Okay, x times x, I got a negative 12, so that means that's a positive and a negative. It's going to add to give me positive 1, that gives me a 4 and a negative 3. Done. Bottom left, same thing. We're going to do two binomials, x and x. <clears throat> it adds to give me negative 1, so it's going to be, an add, uh, multiplies is going to be negative 20, another plus and a minus. So that'll be plus 4 and minus 5, okay? So multiply, my dot isn't quite as big as that one. There, I don't feel so intimidated now. Okay, here we go. Two more binomials. X and an X. A negative there, so it's going to be positive and negative. So plus 2, let's see... Positive 7 and minus 5. Okay, the bottom one, <clears throat> what's the bottom one going to be? Oh, that's a plus. This is an easy one. I'm going to be 7 and a 2, right? Okay, now we're set. Now what we can do to make this really easy, and uh, we'll be done after this, is just cancel. Look, x plus 4 on top, x plus 4 on bottom. Done. Just like these on the top there, right? Same thing. Uh, over here, x plus 7, x plus 7, done. X minus 5, X minus 5, done. All I have is an X minus 3 on top and an X plus 2 on the bottom. Yoink, go to the next problem. Okay, should take you about one minute. All right, another one. Go ahead, pause and copy. All right, and the difference in, in this one is it, it is a division problem. So no big whoop, right? If you divide a fraction, you just flip it and multiply. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So I'll go ahead and rewrite all of these as two binomials. That's going to be X. And uh, let's see, x minus 4, and then x minus 2, that's the top left. Bottom left is going to be x plus 7, and an x minus 4. Okay, I'm going to multiply now, which means I'm going to do this part first on top. So that's going to be x, let's see, plus 7, and an x minus 5. And this is going to be on the bottom this time right here. So minus 2 and minus 15, that means that's going to be minus 5, and then plus 3. Okay. And then the same thing. We just cancel out the ones we can cancel. And uh, look at here. Gone. And what? X plus 7? Gone. Uh, X minus 5? Gone. Now we have X minus 2 on top. X plus 3 on the bottom. All done. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Same thing here, except for one little twist. You tell me what it is. What, look at it. What is it? Okay. It's this part, right? x cubed and x squared, and you're going to have to factor out an x first. And over here, same thing. We need to factor out this x as well. But let's just go ahead and attack the top left right now, like we normally would. And two binomials. That'll be x plus 3 and then x minus 2 on top. Okay, now let's take a look at the bottom left. We have, I'm just going to do this part. I'm going to take out the x and just write it up here somewhere. I'll, I'll do this. No, actually, no, I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and do it down here. Take out my x. Now I get x squared minus 2x minus 35. Is that good? Okay. Let's go ahead and just make this into two binomials. 
So x squared, I need adding numbers that gives me negative 2, and they multiply give me negative 35. That means a negative 7 and a positive 5, right? So let's go ahead and just rewrite that. So negative 7 and positive 5. <coughs> Excuse me. That's gone. And negative 7, and then that's going to be x plus 5. Okay, divided by all this jazz, which means I flip it. So this goes down here, the x plus 3, that's all there is. On top, I have an x, and I factor that out. That gives me x minus 7. Okay, everybody there? I'll, I've, I've done nothing new at all. We've done nothing new, except you just a big honk of them. So let's cancel here. I got an x plus 3, x plus 3. Uh, x minus 7, x minus 7. Um, ooh, I have an x here and an x there. That's gone. So all I have left is x minus 2. And on the bottom, x plus 5. There you go. That's all there is to it. Okay. All right. Try A. Pause it and give that a whirl and see what you get. Don't forget, that's a division problem. So flip it. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Well, let's give it a whirl here. Top left is going to be x minus 3 times x minus 3. Bottom left will be x plus 8, and then x minus 3. I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Here, I'm going to make myself, that's a multiplication problem right there. Yeah, okay. This I'm going to do first on bottom, so I'll go ahead and do x minus 6, and then x plus 1. So this I'll move to the top, and that'll be x minus 9, and then x plus 8. Okay, so let's start canceling here. Oops. Uh, let's see, x minus 3's go away, um, x plus 8's go away, and then that's really it. So x minus 3 times x minus 9 on top, x minus 6 times x plus 1 on the bottom. There you go. All right, give b a whirl. All right, let's go ahead and take care of that top left. So we have 8, excuse me, x plus uh, 4, and then x minus 2. And then bottom left, we have, we're going to plot the x. That's going to be x squared minus 4x minus 21. We'll come back to that in a second. We're going to multiply. x minus 2 flips to the bottom. The x goes to the top, or excuse me, the x squared minus 7. x goes to the top. We're going to plot the x and have x minus 7. Okay. Well, let's take a look at this and let's, let's flip this in. x squared minus 4x minus 21, that'll be x minus 7 and x plus 7. Three. So x minus 7 and then x plus 3. Let me go ahead and fix that up. x minus 7, x plus 3. Okay, let's start canceling here. Um, where are we at? Ooh, x minus 2s, they go. Of course, the x's go. The x minus 7s go. And we just have x plus 4 over x plus 3. Okay, that's all there is to that one. All right, hope you guys had a good day. You will after you get finished this problem set. So do the best you can. Hey, get 20 or 25 of these things right, all right? If you get five or six or eight or 10 wrong, it's okay. If you're not being lazy or slopping around, it happens. Don't worry about it, okay? Just make sure you go back and kind of figure out what you've messed up and then keep going and you'll get more of a chance of getting it right for next time. So, all right, have a great day. Y'all take care.